Welcome guys to the fifth tutorial of PLC automation with select flexis rail PLC. In this tutorial we will discuss what is a hold on circuit or logic and why it is required in PLC programming. So for a hold on logic first you have to consider that all the inputs are push buttons. For a hold on logic we need two inputs and one output. Consider one input as a start button and the second input as a stop button. Now these are the conditions for hold on logic. For initial condition the output will be off. You have to press the start button to turn on the output. Even after you release the start button the output should be on. Now to turn off the output you have to press a stop button. So even after releasing the stop button the output should be off. Create a new project in cell pro software go to file click on new. Browse for the folder location and give a name to the project. Select the flexis rail plc. Make the card selection. Click next and finish. I will start with very basic logic. First I will place a NO contact and an output coil. Give the addresses to NO contact and coil. First compile the logic and then go for offline simulation which will take few seconds. Now we are in offline simulation and double click on the contact to assume that you are pressing the push button. So double click on this no contact. Now the output will get the supply from this path. So according to this condition you just press a push button and you are not releasing the button. To release the button you have to again double click on the no contact. So double click on this contact and it will break the path for the supply. So output is again turned off. Now come back to the condition of hold on circuit. When, whenever you are pressing the start button the output should be on and after releasing the start button the output must be on for forever. But we are not achieving this condition in our logic. Now I will place one parallel contact to this NO contact. The concept is that you can assign the output addresses to the input contacts. The address of this output is out 0 because I changed the name that's why it is not showing the proper address here. So load 1 is the out 0 from PS3 which is the card number 3. You can assign this address to the NO or NC contact. Double click on the contact to which you want to assign the address of the output. Click on select variable and you can see there is there is an address with load 1. So what is load 1? It is the address of the output. But you can assign this address to any of the NO or NC type input. Now you can see the output coil address is same as the address of a NO. The status of this contact will depend upon the status of the coil. Just keep in mind that you can't operate this contact manually because it is dependent on the status of this coil. So if the coil is on this open contact will become a close contact. So first compile the logic and click on the offline simulation which will take few seconds. Now we are in offline simulation. You can press the start button. Double click on it. The coil is on. At the same time this contact is also on. But we never turn on this contact by double clicking on it. Then why it is turned on? Yes because the coil is on. And this coil address is assigned to this contact. So if the coil is on this contact will also get turned on. Now again double click on the start button to release it and it is true for the first condition of our hold on. Now how to achieve the second condition to turn off the output with the stop button. Yes you have to use one another contact to turn off the coil. That's why we need two inputs for a hold on circuit. One is for start second one is for stop. Delete the horizontal line and place a NC contact here. Now this NC contact will work as a stop button. Assign the address to this NC contact. I will use the next input address which is IN1 of slot 1. Now we are in offline simulation and this is the initial state of the logic. Because of this NC contact its color is green. Now press the start button by double clicking on it. You can see the output is on. This contact is also on. Release the input button. The output is still on. To turn off the output we have a stop button. So press this stop button by double clicking on it. So you can see it will break the path for the supply towards this coil. And again double click on it to come back to the initial condition. So when we will provide the input from start button. It will provide a path for supply. 
so if the output is on because of the same address for this contact as the output address this will also provide a parallel path for the supply towards this coil so even after releasing the input button the parallel path is created and it will provide a continuous path for the supply towards the coil so that's why the output will remain in on condition now to turn off the output we have to press the second button which is a stop button and this button is the NC contact so when we will press the NC button it will become an open contact because of this open contact it will break the path of the supply and the output will turn off this contact will also get opened and will break the path for the supply and after releasing the stop button it will come back to its initial NC condition thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel